In this video, I will be showing you how to make your eyeballs, where to buy them or where to download them for free. We will cut out and measure the hole in the book and we'll fit it properly. In the second part video, we'll talk more about the decorating of the book. So before we get started with this project, we have to talk about this. This is probably the hardest thing, is to get your eyeball in there. Now there's two different ways. There's this way here, where we just put a fake eyeball on the book. Now to have it glow, you have to cut a hole in your book and you have to put a light, a puck light, a flat flashlight, anything that's gonna light up your eyeball. There's different light um, options on YouTube. You can just do a 10 hour loop of a mood changing light, stick it in your book, make sure you have the, the um, what do you call it? Your screen brightness turned all the way up. And then um, you might wanna turn off your notifications <laughs> or turn your sound off if you're not gonna have sound. Um, that's the simplest way. And um, when, you, when you do do that, you just turn your, your phone sideways and then upside down and then you'll put it in your book like so and what it does is it changes the eyeball uh, different colors now obviously I have a ton of light on me right now so you can't really see it um, but I will show you what it looks like at night that is the easiest way to do this. Now the second way, because I'm like, I gotta do it so much better, or I gotta show off, I don't know, I think it's fun, is to actually put an eyeball in your, in your book. There are two different ways of putting the video eyeball inside your book. If you are using a book like this, of course you're gonna have to cut with a razor blade square by square after you measured your phone. Remember, if you're using a different phone or a different device, you gotta take, you know, I would make it a little bigger because if your phone is bigger or smaller, it will always fit in that spot. And then we close your book onto that. That's gonna take some time. What I did is um, I bought these book boxes that open, they're hollow in the inside. The only thing about that is you have to put a piece of cloth in white, and I'll tell you that why later, so you can slide in like a pocket your phone, which will play the video of the um, eyeball. And then when you close it, it will show that. We are also gonna be drilling a hole in the back so you can plug it in and continuously play it on loop. So where do you get the eyeballs, you might ask? Number one, Atmos FX has a great eerie eye collection that you can buy and download. It's usually 20 bucks. They have sales. Sometimes you get discounts if you're a member and you buy a lot. That is a really cool place to get your eyeballs. I love it because it comes with sound and you can play the sound in the book and it just gives it a super cool effect. Another option, if you don't wanna spend money and it's pretty cool, there is an app you can download called Digital Duds. Now, digital duds make ugly Christmas sweaters, uh, t-shirts, and their own masks. And you can download, well, you don't download, you download the app and they're all in the app, all these videos. And what I do like about this is, sorry, I'm trying to find one here, is, so when you play the video, there's the eyeball. You can move it around. You can make it small, you can move it here, there, it's free. It makes it a little bit easier, but you're limited to only like a couple different eyeball designs. Um, that one is definitely a cool option. There is no sound for it, it's just an eyeball. 
Um, so that is an option if you want to do it a little cheaper. And that way, just don't forget to take your notifications off and turn off your sound or you're gonna get spoiled. Better yet, what I suggest is if you have an old iPhone or Android or whatever phone, device, smartphone, whatever smartphone you have maybe laying around an old one that you still have, charge it up, connect it to the Wi-Fi, get the app, download the video, and you don't even have to worry about it. That prop could be sitting out all Halloween, all throughout the haunt, just plug it in. There you go. There's even other options where you can buy digital eyes they're a flat screen eye from different prop makers around. And I think I might be doing that too. I'm a little crazy. I want to make the spell book from um, Hocus Pocus as well. Having the eyeball move around will make it a lot cooler. So further ado, let us get started on our craft. So I, I have my eyeball playing on my phone. The phone I'm gonna use for this book. My eyeball is two inches by one and a half inches. So I'm gonna write that down so I remember. I have that. Next, you're going to trace pretty much your phone. However you are going to have it. If you're gonna keep it in its case, remember that. If you're going to use someone else's, you gotta just remember that. If you do change your phone, you're just gonna have to adjust it afterwards. So we know our eyeball is, oops, two inches by an inch and a half. I measured my phone. I'm gonna take my phone away and I'm gonna mark my two inches and I should, I should have said that, measure about how the distance, it's two inches from two inches, and then we have a tiny little bit on each side. So two inches from the top, two inches from the bottom, and we have a little bit on the side. So after we make that measurement, now we're gonna measure where the eye is going to be. So now I have a basic idea of how big my eyeball is. And I draw an eyeball. Now this is where that other app would come in handy because if you messed up the dimensions of your eyeball, at least that app you can open and make your eyeball big or not. So here's my eyeball. I drew about the same dimensions that the eyeball is here. And so that eyeball will go right in there. I forgot to mention, you will need a Dremel. Somehow you need to cut the hole in the cover of your book. Now it's very important that when you do the Dremel, you start in the middle. <laughs> to say on my last book I messed up on the eyeball I made the hole too big and so I had to fix it on the inside and um, it ended up working just fine but be careful that you don't make your eyeball too big you can fix it with clay or the paper towels but it sucks if you mess up so now what you'll do is you'll get your phone and you'll put it inside and see if the eyeball matches up So here's my eyeball and I'm moving my phone around to see if it needs any adjustments. If you see any adjustments, just mark it out with a pin and then you'll know what to do. Um, I pretty much like that one. It looks like I could go down a little bit more here, but um, so far it's pretty good. And then we're going to use the paper mache or the, not the paper the paper towels and the Mod Podge to make it look a little better on the outside. But, um, and that's our phone on the inside. So the next step is after you get your phone exactly where you want it, 
how you like it, you need to flip it over. Now this one's a little hard because it's um, a black cover. You'll take your chalk and you're gonna make a rough estimate of what that's gonna be on the inside. Here's my eyeball that I made. I uploaded it on YouTube. So turn it sideways, turn it upside down. Make sure you have it the right way. Sometimes it's hard to tell with the blinking. I think it needs to go that way. So then all you have to do is turn it the other way and that way. Whatever, you get what I'm trying to say. The eyeball's in the same position no matter what, that doesn't matter. So put it inside. It should be exactly where I marked it, right there. And then that is where you're gonna put your pocket. You're going to use hot glue right here and a white piece of cloth, and I'll tell you why later, and you're going to glue on your fabric right here so you can slip your iPhone inside so you can see your eyeball. This is the hardest part of the project. If you're doing one of the glass eyes, you would do the exact same thing we did with the phone. You'd measure the eye, you'd cut it out, then you would not cut it out too far because the eye has to set on there and you have to hot glue gun it onto there. Once you hot glue gun it in there, you fill it up, make sure it's white on the background, the backside. It's really important that I say white because how would the light shine through if it's black? And um, that is exactly the same way you would do it. You'd put your light inside the book, you'd close it up, and you'd have your eyeball.